Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the closet where I review underwear for the fellas. It's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. And I think that somebody's me because I tried to get reviews out there and no one really gave good reviews. They just kind of gave what you should buy from the manufacturer. So, you know, right? You want to trust the manufacturer or somebody who put it through the grinder, right? I think I'm right. So, my pair here that I'm doing today is the Duluth Bullpen. Guys, bullpen. If you bullpen, if you think it's a bull, you got a pen for it. That's what they're thinking, right? And it's not bad. Uh, right out of the gate, it's pretty comfortable. It has some kind of honeycomb. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got some cool honeycomb shape to it. It's a nylon polyester blend, so it's a little plasticky, but stretchy, very comfortable, airy. Um, it's got this nice little band, a little tight band, a little extra, extra hard. If you're very sensitive in the waist, it might get you, but not too bad. Um, as far as flexibility goes, it, it sticks with you. The legs, I think I got the just a regular like two or three inch legs. Uh, they stay with you. They don't rub too much. They don't ride too much. There's not a whole lot of crack -o if you know what I'm saying. Uh, there's not a lot of riding with the bullpen. Got that? Uh, anyways, they, on the inside, I want to show you, they put up these... Oh, it's kind of hard to show. <laughs> Sorry. But uh, they gave you... They did put a bullpen. All right, let's do a side view. They gave us a, a side view. So you see, there's a little bit of a pen for the boys. You know what I'm saying? Give yourself a little play pen. But it's not, not that big. It's not as big as you think it's going to be. It's just really just a regular pair of underwear that's pushed out just a little bit out here. But they did give you a bullpen on the inside, which I think is kind of cool. So they gave you these walls. You can see them. They're still made out of the same fabric on both sides. They did give you a pee hole. Hello. You know what I'm saying? I like pee holes. I think it's a good thing to have. If you ever want to go hands-free, you could go hands-free. Uh, this pee hole particularly, it's not the biggest hole it's not it's just a couple inches and you really got to go deep like almost all the way and then you pull it out you know what I'm saying and there's a little bit of tug so it's not a full full-fledged it's not a full-fledged hands-free you're uh you're gonna be uh, poking a little bit I think the I think if I look down if you're looking down you go hands-free it's gonna go a little bit to one o'clock you know what I'm saying so just got to be aware and there's a potential of it snapping back if it's really tight if you're a big boy i'm not that big so i don't have to worry too much um as far as the back design goes they do have uh i don't know if you could see these little seams right on your ass it's not it's not around it, so it's not gonna give you a boost. It kind of makes a little dimple, makes a little dimple. Like, see these seams? It makes these seams here. If you could see them, they make a little, they make a little dimple right on your cheeks. Um, maybe to keep them intact for all you big boys out there. I don't know if you got a big ass or whatever, but it's there. It's noticeable. It's not bad it doesn't pinch or it doesn't feel too bad the seaming is pretty well woven it's not gonna be rough around it um not too bad the drawback that i had is i do a lot of work i climb i go up ladders sorry i do yoga with them um with the pee hole and the extra bullpen on the inside there's just a lot of fabric like right around you so the boys are going to heat up you're going to get sweaty underneath the sack you know a little butter and it gets hot it does i'm, I'm not gonna lie it gets hot um i live in california so it does get really hot out here in the winter sorry guys oh, we love our winters here 
it gets hot every day. So you're gonna get a little extra bacon down there. As far as smell factor, it does retain a little bit more than you would want. Something that some other ones don't. Um, I'll give it like a seven, a six in terms of smell factor. 10 being like, you don't smell anything. Uh, seven, you're gonna start to smell a little, you know, a little of your, your scent, a little of the joy. The joy of being a man uh, for later on. If you ever have to take it off and smell it, which most people don't, but you never know who grows close, right? We don't want to be odiferous for our lady friends, do we? So, um, all in all, it's pretty good. Extra fabric, but a pee hole. And there's a pee hole in there that is nice. I really like it. So, uh, so. Rounding it up, guys. Uh, Duluth. Bullpen. Stretchy. Light-er. Still keeps you warm. It's not going to be like light, like you're not going to feel it. It'll, it's there. You're going to feel it. You're going to warm it. It's going to get warm. You're going to bake the goods with all this extra fabric down there. P-hole gives you the option of free ball. You know, free range, free handing. Sorry, the, the P-hole gives you the option of free handing it. Which is nice. I love that. Um, pretty decent, decent pair. For what it's worth, it's not bad. Uh, just be aware. It'll, it'll close them in. It'll contain your stuff, but it'll also that extra fabric is going to warm up everything. All right. So that's it. Duluth bullpen. Not bad. See you next time. And this is me signing off in the closet for your next. Underwear challenge. I'll let you know how it goes.